Well, it's September, so that means I gotta get a Christmas video out. And this year, I'm finally gonna do what I've wanted to do for over a decade, which is put some automation in my Christmas lights. So, phase one is just gonna be using the existing Christmas lights that I have already. And then next year we'll get to uh, doing the addressable LEDs. But first, I'm gonna split this up into a few parts because I hate video editing. So, I'll put it all together at the end in one video, but, so we're gonna have a few videos coming out over the next few weeks. So, this is not what I'm making, but it's just a prototype. I made a short on it, just to show you guys what it was, but basically just two outlets, and this is the plan. So this is gonna be one of those nodes. Um, one outlet's gonna be live 24 seven, this outlet will be switched based on a relay. Now, um, this relay deserves a video of its own, as that I do not recommend ever buying it. Uh, it's pretty cool, but it's really undocumented. But that's a whole nother conversation. So yeah, I've already had this working on my phone, so I can plug this in, and uh, there's a plug this into power, and then I can control it from my phone. But we're not doing that. We're going further. So this is just my proof of concept to myself. I'll probably end up using it for something else. Okay, so the plan is to have two power nodes, power and con well, power nodes and control nodes, and one brain, brain node or whatever. So I'm calling it my Christmas power and control nodes for now. I'll come up with a better name later. Now, or you say, yes, I'm sure I could just go buy something, blah, 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 blah. Okay, part of this is the learning adventure of getting into uh, this hobby electronics and automation, stuff like that, and just going all in. I have no clue what I'm doing. So with that said, please be nice in the comments. Suggestions, uh, critiques, always welcome. But if your uh, comment is to say, just stop what I'm doing, get a life. So... This is a Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. It's really cool. And it's just gonna get cooler in the future. It's got a fully onboard ESP processor as well. Um, right now they're just using it for uh, wireless connectivity as the firmware for everything else that it supports is not at implemented. So my plan is to use ESP, ESP now as the communication standard between this and uh, the power nodes. So I am gonna have to add a second Wi-Fi uh, module onto this, probably a, a nano, um, because I need to have, basically have a gateway. Uh, ESP, ESP now doesn't communicate over the internet, but it uses Wi-Fi. But it's very low latency and low power. Power is the key. Trying to use as little power as possible. So. So I'll have another one, another um, nano or something like that, or just another ESP32 or something, um, and I'll create a uh, bridge. So I can communicate to that uh, through Wi-Fi, and that then hardwired into this can communicate with the ESP now network. Uh, I don't feel comfortable putting the lights directly on my home Wi-Fi. Just, it's an old router, and yeah, I just don't want to go there. So it's going to be on its own network. So, and it's cool when you turn it on, you know, all these LEDs can be programmed. But yeah, that's, uh, that's this. So, I have a bunch, but, so, you know we'll get one. It might get two. We'll see. Um, but these are the control nodes. So, these are two relay modules. Uh, no wireless connectivity or anything like that. Uh, these are your standard relays. They're, they're not solid state, so they do make a clicking sound. I kind of happen to like the clicking sound, but next year, maybe we'll go solid state. These are an ESP32. Um, I think this is a ESP-12E node MCU. And there's so many different ways these things are called, you kind of get lost. It's easy to get confused. But those are going to be paired with these. So this will control whether the relays are on and off. And this, the Uno, is going to tell these 
when to turn these on and off. Pretty straightforward, I think at least. So I actually have enough to make to make uh, three. Now these ESP uh, 32s, Wi-Fi, and um, Bluetooth, uh, also the ESP Now and Aura. Uh, so I got plenty of options for my wireless connectivity needs, and that's the point. If you've uh, Watch any of my woodworking and stuff like that. I rarely use glue because I like to reuse and repurpose things. So, yes, I'm going to have to solder things. Just that's because of the nature of this I have to. But uh, I'm going to do it in the way that I can reuse this stuff for other things later. Because next year, I'm probably going to redo it all with a different design. Um, so, let's see. What else? I haven't decided exactly how to do power yet, but for uh, for just simplicity, I just got these breadboard uh, power supplies. Yeah, I know I didn't need to. So the way it's going to work is that Everon outlet in each node is going to uh, power a uh, brick, like such. You know all those uh, bricks you got laying around? I finally found a use for them. I have five of them. So, this will be powering this. Uh, the key point here is that the brick needs to be more than seven volts. Uh, just so you can make sure it will get five and 3.3 volts out properly. If you put five in, it's going to be hard to get five exactly back out. You're going to lose some. So yeah. And it has a button. So this five volts will be used to power uh, this will be used to power, sorry, the ESP. This will be used to power that. And this, I don't know. We'll see how the wiring diagrams go. I don't really want to power this um, five volt directly off of this. Whatever, I'm confusing myself. Uh, but this will be main power coming into this side. So, and that's that. So it will be those three, and then two outlets. And I got actually, I actually have more. So I could do a four box or something like that. I mean, I got options. Options are always awesome. And that was part of, that was one of the main things in here is having different options on how I wanted to hook things up. I'll probably get some more sensors and everything like that, but we'll go from there. This is going to evolve, and you and I hope you uh, join me. So uh, stay tuned for part two.